Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Samuel Lois Tebani from the University of Johannesburg, South Africa. And this afternoon, I'm presenting a paper that we co-authored with my co-supervisors, Dr. Clark and Professor Nell. The University of South Africa is in the southern part of the continent. And in our university, we've got a program, a three-year program. I'm just giving a, 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 big, a, a brief background here. That is training technicians for in, in three years for a national diploma. And just last year, we've introduced a new program, which is training technologists for three years, uh, for a three-year qualification. But this study is about a project that both groups of students went through. If I start with technicians, engineering technicians are known by the ability to apply knowledge. To apply, it's about application. They do with their hands. They think, they do. They look at what they have studied at school and they apply that. And technical education which we provide at the university is assisting in this broader vision. And the, and the qualification in South Africa that helps with this type of um, skill is the National Diploma. Now, as described by the Engineering Council of South Africa, which we abbreviate as EXA, which is an affiliate of the Dublin Accord, they give the purpose statement of the technician qualification. It's a two-year program and a year of work integrated learning, which the students, they do in industry. In our country, we've got a program for weak students, a bridging course, which makes students who go through the bridging course for the same program to do this program um, over four years. In other words, the first year would be bridging and the second year would be, then they start the actual program. Now, last year we, we introduced the Bachelor of Engineering Technology, which is a new qualification, which is going to replace the National Diploma Program in our country. These students, eventually, they will register with the council as technologists. It's a three-year qualification, and it's purpose statement, emphasizing technological efficiency. In other words, the, the attributes, the, the graduate attributes for this lot is broadly defined. They should be able to step up a bit from the National Diploma um, graduates. The National Diploma graduates, they, they solve uh, problems which are well defined, but these ones is, pro is broadly defined. Where is the problem? These students were required to do a hand skills project. The National Diploma ones were given a block of metal they were supposed to cut, to file, to drill, as you can see in the first project. The Bachelor of Engineering Technology students, they were given a little bit of a complex uh, project to do. But both groups of students, this is where the students are working. That is the environment where they work. How are they given this project? They are given a drawing. In other words, from the drawing, they need to interpret the drawing and apply the skills to make the required project. So in other words, they needed a, they needed a skill to be able to read a drawing, to be able to interpret a drawing. But now where is the problem? The problem is this. Some of the students for the national diploma, they did the drawing concurrently with the project. In other words, in the same semester, they are doing drawing. In the same semester, they are doing the project. Now, the question, ideally, the question would be, well, how do you expect us to read this drawing if you are teaching us same time? The students who are doing the bridging course, they did the first year drawing completely. In the second year, they did the project. The degree students, first semester, they did the drawing. Second semester, they, they did the project. So now, what is our problem? Our problem is that the National Diploma students were disadvantaged. This, uh, this, this one would call it a hypothesis. 
But in this case, this study is qualitative. It does not have a hypothesis. They were disadvantaged by the fact that they did drawing and the project concurrently. So the research question would be to describe the disadvantages they experienced, and secondly, to describe the advantages of the other group of students. And we decided to go qualitative so that we can hear their voices. We gave them questionnaires and asked them to explain how they look at this problem. Instead of giving them true, false, agree, disagree, now we said, give us, we gave them a descriptive um, 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 analysis to give for us. The students, in terms of responses, eight students res responded for the national diploma, 10 for the bridging course, and seven for the technology. Because the, the study is qualitative, the fact of the sampling didn't worry us because we knew that what we were looking for are the voices of the students. First of all, the interesting thing is this. Our assumption was proven wrong. There were very few students from National Diploma who responded and said they did drawing concurrently with the project. The respondents also find it difficult to interpret scan skills, drawing, and did not think that there was a relationship between the drawing and the project. Some students said, what relationship are you talking about? We didn't see any relationship. We were given a project, we were able to swim through. And, and some students did agree and said, you know what, if I, did, if I hadn't done drawing, I would have found it difficult to do um, to do this, this, this project. The degree students, there were less misunderstanding of the questions. These students were able to articulate their responses. And, and they gave quali quality answers. They understood the questions and they gave quality answers. Remember, they come from the same schools and the grades of entry into the program are more or less the same. All the groups acknowledge that the skills to read, the hand skills drawing, was attained from class. We asked them, where did you get the skill? They, others say from class. Others said, you know what? I saw a line that is 100 millimeters. I assumed I must cut this thing to 100 millimeters. Others said, I, from external sources. We didn't ask them what do they mean by external sources. Others say the lab technician was training them, taught them. What is our conclusion about this study? There is a clear distinction between the quality of data. That, that to us is making us to think as the curriculum designers. The national diploma students and the degree students, they gave three clear quality answers that are far apart from each other. And it made us to think in terms of our curriculum. The diploma students and the bridging course, their, their responses are on the, of, the same, of the same quality. The, but the degree students, clearly you can see the way they articulate that they had an advantage of the fact that they did drawing first semester and did the project second semester. And they were able to give their opinions about the arrangement of these two modules. Even though this, 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 this um, project was done in our university, we feel that curriculum designers can learn a lot because we simply assume that prerequisite knowledge is important when actually students sometimes don't, don't see it like that. So the purpose of the study is to contribute for future curriculum development, for future thinking around prerequisite knowledge, around prior knowledge, um, around rearranging modules in a curriculum and also finding the voice from the student if it is really necessary. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.